Redwire's Mix IR2 is now Pro Tools 11 compatible. So here we are in Pro Tools 11, and you can see I have Mix IR2 open right here in Pro Tools 11, so it is working. I still have access to all of my impulse responses, my big box package here. That's great. You can see I already have several impulse responses and some of these blocks here. We can still operate as normal, turn them on, turn them off. We can do panning, things like that. If you take a look at the interface, it doesn't look like anything has changed from the last version that was working in Pro Tools 10 and previous. So if you've been holding out on getting Mix IR2 because it wasn't Pro Tools 11 compatible, well, now you have no more excuses. This is probably the best impulse response host out there, especially for guitar cabinet impulse responses. And to get to Mix IR2 in Pro Tools 11, we'll just click our insert. And if you have category and manufacturer chosen in your preferences, just come down to Redwires. Right there is Mix IR2. We can launch that here. Or if you don't have category and manufacturer, just come to the other category. And this is the same for a mono track. Or we can come over here to a stereo track and see it's the exact same structure. We can go to Redwires or to the other category. So now we'll test Mix IR2 and make sure it's working correctly here in Pro Tools 11. So of course we already have it launched here. Now I could use this in conjunction with a software based guitar amp simulator like Amplitube or any of the other ones and just bypass the cabinet. But for this test, I'm going to use my trusty old 11 rack and I'll just use the preset we already have called up here. You can see there's a couple effects turned on a multi-chorus, a flanger and reverb. And those are just dialed in just a little bit just to affect the tone. So first we'll just hear how the 11 rack sounds here on its own and mix IR2 is bypassed. So just the 11 rack sounds like. Right, okay, so that's pretty good. So now we'll bypass the cab just scroll over to our cab, hit controls, and there we go, we bypassed the cabinet. And if we take a listen now, we still have Mix IR2 bypassed, and we have our cab and mic bypassed on the 11 rack. We still have our effects turned on, we're just gonna leave those on. So just the raw amp without a mic and cab would sound like. Really fuzzy, not good at all, which is exactly what you'd expect. So now we'll turn on Mix IR2, take that off of bypass, and I'll make sure I turn on my number one block. So that's a 5150 Sheffield with a SM57. Awesome. So now let's pop on block number two, and that's using a few Mesa Rectifier cabinet impulses. And just a tip, if you've never played the dual rectifier amp simulation in the 11 rack through an actual Mesa Rectifier cabinet emulation, then you've never really heard how great the dual rectifier in the 11 rack can sound. Okay, so now we have both those blocks turned on and we're combining the Sheffield with the Mesa Rectifier cabs. <laughs> Okay, now let's turn on block three. That's our impedance curve. Gives us a little more tube realism. And down here in block four, I have some EQ impulse responses there. We'll pop those on. Nice, really coming together. So I could work with this a bit more and really dial it in to sound good. And let me just change the mix down to like uh, 30 on this. That should sound good. Okay, so you get the idea. This is not a demo of Mix IR2. This is just to let anyone know who doesn't know yet that Mix IR2 is now Pro Tools 11 compatible. Go to redwires.com, log into your account, go to the plugins, and simply download it and install it. You'll have your great Mix IR2 right in Pro Tools 11.